As it's almost time to reveal the gender of our baby, I thought the best thing for us to do was to start doing some gender prediction tests. So we're going to start with the baking soda test. Will it be a girl or a boy? Let's see. Okay, so here we have the baking soda gender test now it's the most dignified thing in the world showing the world your urine and which is lovely um anyway so here we go this is mine i promise you this is mine it looks a lot darker because of the reflection but anyway we won't get into that here i have some baking powder or like you would call it in the us baking soda Okay, so word has it, if it fizzes, it's a boy result. If it lies flat, it's a girl result. So here we go. It was awfully dark when you put it in there. Okay, so that is flat. There's not even the tiniest little bit of fizz. So that would make it a girl result, total girl result. Let's give it a little bit of a mix up here. Nope, still separates. I would say that is definitely a girl result. So that was without a doubt a girl result. So let's move on. Next up we have the ring so test. Here I have my engagement ring. I know you're supposed to use a wedding ring, but my wedding ring unfortunately had to be cut off my finger some time ago when it got too small and it hasn't been replaced yet. It's something we have to get to. So today we're going to have to use my engagement ring. I've tied it to some white thread. Now it's said if it goes round in a circle, however big or small, that is a girl result. If it goes back and forth in a line, that is a, bo a boy result. So let's give it a go and see what we get. Okay, so I have to get it as still as possible. Which is not actually as easy as it looks. And just very carefully wait. It's so hard to stay still. I would say that is hard to tell. I would definitely see that was going around in circles. I don't know if you guys can see that. I would definitely see that with circles. Yeah, it's going around in tiny, tiny little circles. So I will place that as a girl result. Okay, so the ring test was showing a Go result. Now on to the Mayan calendar. Okay, so this is the Mayan or Mayan. Oh, what did I do? Um, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but this is the gender predictor. Um, I'm pretty sure that this and the Chinese one are the exact same thing, but we'll do both individually. Um, on this one, so age of conception or age at conception and month of conception. So I've written it up here. I was 30 when I conceived and it would have been in March. So my age was even now March, January, February, March, number three. So that's odd. So we have even and odd. So that would make it a boy result on the Mayan gender predictor. Okay, so that makes the Mayan, Mayan, 
<laughs> whichever calendar a boy result. Two versus one. Let's move on to the Chinese okay, calendar. So we have the Chinese gender predictor here. So how old were you when you conceived? I was and still am. 30. When did you conceive? In I'm going the wrong way. March. Doesn't let that predict. So by Chinese gender predictor, it's a girl. So maybe it's the Mayan one or May Mayan. I don't know how you pronounce that. And the Chinese one are different because Mayan one said that I was going to have a boy and this one's saying it's going to be a girl. So there you have it, a girl okay, result. So the Chinese calendar came up with a girl result. So, so far the girls are winning. Now on to partner's weight gain. It says here it's healthy and normal for a pregnant woman to gain weight. But has your partner been packing on the pounds? You may be expecting a girl. Are both of you nauseous? Some cultures believe if the dad has experienced morning sickness too, you're expecting a boy. He hasn't experienced any morning sickness, but he has put weight on. So that would make it a girl result. So dad makes it a girl result. So the girls by far are winning with these tests she will see now last but never the least is the kitchen utensil test so okay, let's so get I to found that. this one online this is see what the kitchen can tell you have someone tape a spoon under one chair and a fork under another without you saying which is which if you sit on the chair with the spoon you're having a girl and if it's with the fork it's a boy okay so i'm going to get kevin to do that and then I will go in and sit on a chair and we will see which one we get. Right, so what we have to do is you have to tape a fork to one chair and a spoon to another chair while I'm out of the room. And then when I come back in, if which one I sit on kind of says whether it's a boy or a girl. If it's a spoon, it's a girl. If it's a fork, it's a boy. So I need you to kind of put one chair way over there and one chair over here. Okay, are we all done? Yeah. Okay, so we have one chair here and we have one chair over there. So I'm going to see which one I feel drawn to. Um, I feel like I want to sit over here. Okay, so I feel like I'm sitting on this chair. So what, what was it? It's a spoon for a girl. And a fork for a boy. What, well, Dale's reveal? Dale's? Should we reveal that one? You have a fork. Fork means boy. And a spoon means girl. So this was a boy, boy result. That was our last one. And that made it a boy result. So for the girls, we have one, two, three, four points. And the boys, we have two. So, the girls won them gender prediction tests by far. So now you guys just have to wait and see what it really is in our gender reveal. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new here and press on that little bell. So you get a notification every time I drop a video. I love you guys and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.